16 NBA champs. Toronto Raptors, they did it. Congratulations to them. But damn, you can't even go to a parade nowadays without some controversy. And we're going to talk about what happened at their celebration parade, but first. On this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Because we're working on skilling our craft, bringing you a life game in any chaotic situation. And nothing was more chaotic than some of the stuff that just happened in this Toronto's parade. Please subscribe to this channel, turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you can be the first to get them. Also check out the Life Games Financial channel. There was some shooting going on in this Toronto parade. Um, four people were shot, a whole lot of stuff. Take a look at the news clip and we're gonna come back and try to find a Life Game. A massive victory rally in Toronto for the Raptors erupted into chaos today. Gunshots set off a stampede of people running for safety. At least four people were shot. Arrests have been made. The panic broke out as an estimated crowd of two million celebrated Canada's first NBA championship. Don Daler has more. Cell phone videos show a sea of screaming parade goers fleeing the scene of the shooting. <laughs> Confusion turned to panic and chaos. Ross Rayom was caught in the stampede. A bunch of people were getting trampled over and over again. People were running over top of each other. Toronto police tweeted word of the incident shortly after 4 p.m. Reports of woman shot, people running from area, police EMS are on scene. Police said there were four gunshot victims and two people in custody. This is crazy, yeah? At one point, the announcer interrupted the program to urge the onlookers to stay calm, even as the Raptor players remained on stage. Toronto was celebrating the city's first NBA championship after the Raptors defeated the Golden State Warriors in game six. The crowd featured basketball players, Canada's prime minister, and hip hop star Drake. Police have not yet released a possible motive, nor the names of the victims and suspects. Maurice, there were 60,000 people in the immediate area and 2 million along the parade route. So that was the story, ladies and gentlemen. People got shot, people got hurt. And I mean, it was some 2 million people at this parade. And what in the world can you get from a life game from this? Whenever you're gonna be going to a situation where you know it's gonna be a lot of people packed and cramped in a venue or any situation, be it a concert, be it a movie, be it anywhere. You need to be cognizant of how you can escape. You need to be cognizant of the exits. You need to be cognizant of the doors. You need to just be kind of watching so your surroundings because oftentimes we'll go to these type of venues to try to have fun, let off steam. And of course, no one should be doing what they're doing with bringing guns, shooting people and all that. But things happen. And when those things go awry, you've got to be cognizant of yourself your loved ones and how you can evacuate the situation as best as possible so my life game for you guys is whenever you're going to be in these tight cramped situations make sure you understand your exit strategies so that you can be as best protected as possible and if you can't exit be looking for places you can go and take cover um i'm sad for this because this is toronto's first championship you hate to hear about these kind of stories but I wanna know what you guys' life gains are. And I know some of y'all gonna be tripping in that comment section talking about it was a Golden State person doing it, but there ain't been no news about the shooter as of yet. I'll keep following the story to let you guys know what pops up from it. But for now, drop me your life gains and let me know what you think. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life gain. Follow me on all my social media links. I will start getting a little bit more active on all of them, especially Instagram. That's why I'm gonna be doing more of my fitness stuff that we're doing this year trying to reach these goals. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.